Hello, Buddy Fighters, and welcome to another episode of This Week in Buddy Fight. I'm Terence, and I'll be your host for today. Let's get on with today's show. Just a quick product release update SUB05 Buddy Again Volume 2 Super Buddy Wars EX is now on sale. Now, as mentioned in previous episodes, do take note that there, there may be retailers or stores which have not received the stocks yet in this pandemic. And players are advised to contact your local stores to find out how you can get your hands on the latest releases. For any future releases, do keep a lookout on the official portals for the latest updates. Good news! Short Story number 12 is updated. A familiar face is mentioned and fans of the series should check out the latest chapter on the Buddy Fight official website. Now, let's head on over to the Buddy Votes Corner. A big thanks to the Buddy Fighters who took part in the post last week. Our topic last week was your favourite food for the main monsters from the anime series. There were only three choices available to keep it simple and we have your pick right here. Let's jump straight to the winner. Our audience's favourite among the choice of A. Pudding B. Pizza and C. Takoyaki also known as octopus dumplings is Drum roll please Takoyaki! Wow, that was surprising. I mean, it's not really a major food outside of Japan. Some countries will have it but you can only probably get it at Japanese supermarkets or something, you know. Of course, feel free to comment in the section below if that is not the case. Still, I'll probably try to hunt some down once the situation improves and we can move around more freely in this country. For this week's poll, we are going into a topic related to the buddy fight story again. Do you remember that Gao, Tasuku and Gaito had a certain ability in the series that set them apart from other characters? That's right, I'm talking about Dragon Force. Now you can head on down to the polls to vote for your favourite Dragon Force. It doesn't matter if you just like the art on the card or if you like how the ability was played in an anime series. If you prefer one of them over the others, now is the time for you to show us which one it is. For example, maybe you like how Tatsuku's hair grew longer when he used it. All the glamour without all the fuss. What's not to like about that? <laughs> well, links to the poll can be found in the description below and of course on our official website. Now, go cast your vote and join us on the show next week for the results. And for this week's Buddy Pointers, we hope that everyone is staying home and keeping fit indoors during this pandemic. Since our interactions these days are kind of limited to online chats and even playing card games with each other online, let's take a look at some more tips and pointers regarding online interactions. We have covered the Bushiroad remote fight and pointers to play online with a webcam and simple setup. But this week, let's take a look at another aspect, the online interactions. So far, there are no major incidents but with any games, it is always possible that some players will get too worked up. Or you know, adrenaline rush. Wait, you have not experienced that before in a card game? Really? Just me then? Anyway, for those of you who have gotten a little worked up in a match, to keep yourself in check, take a deep breath and convey the issues you have with your opponent in a clear manner. Simply put, no shouting, yelling and such. Treat your opponent with respect and even if they are close friends and you guys are just goofing around, the people in your household may not know and think that you are having a shouting match online. That's something I don't want to see on the 6 o'clock news. Now, how about chatting via text? Here's a tip when doing that. Sometimes it's very difficult to convey emotions or what we actually mean with just text alone. That is why the tech companies gave us emojis. There are times when you mean something as a joke or maybe even sarcastically, but the sentence you type does not convey that properly, leading the person you are communicating with to take offence at what you are saying. That's when emojis come in. A simple wink emoji at the end of the sentence could alter its meaning and possibly avoid any misunderstandings. If in doubt, you may wish to clarify the matter without jumping to conclusions too. Last but not least, something a bit closer to home. Let's talk about Bushi Road Remote Fight and Bushi Bustle Time. Our staff may be hanging around and can answer some simple questions regarding the game rules and even take on challenges. But do take note that the staff cannot sit in to judge individual games or even provide product release information or such info which we have not announced on our official portals through the Discord. Also, please refrain from making any offensive or controversial remarks 
or you could be removed from the channel. Generally, just be on your best behavior and you should be fine. That's all the time we have for you today. We hope to see you next week again. In the meantime, stay safe, stay home, and we'll see you next week. Bye!